Hi, I'd like you to introduce you to a friend of mine. His name is Tom, and Tom has a pretty extraordinary story to tell us. Tom, how old are you? I'm eight. Uh-huh. And where do you live? Deerfield. And do you know where I live? You live in Deerfield, too. Yeah. And do I live down the street from you? Yep. Yeah. And last fall, you came to my house, and why did you come to my house? Because we were visiting you for popcorn. You were... For Cub Scouts. Yes, you were selling Cub Scout popcorn, right? Yep. Yeah. And what did you hear um, my husband say when you were at my house? I heard him say that you're running a program called Hope. Hope. Mm -hmm. For a village in, I think, Africa. Cambodia. Cambodia. Mm -hmm. uh, for children who don't really have anything. That's right. And um, what did you go home and do after hearing that story? I went home and got a box of Matchbox cars. This one, mm -hmm. but with a little more. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I came over and gave it to you. That's right. For and the children. Yeah. And um, what... Um, and so you you actually these were much higher because there were more cars in here and half of them have already gone to Cambodia, but um, you heard about the children in Cambodia and that they didn't have any toys, right? Yeah. Yeah, and our foundation Hope for the Silent Voices um, does work in Cambodia in the garbage village, and this extraordinary young man who was only eight years old felt moved to go home and pull out matchbox cars to share with children on the other side of the world, right? Yes. Yeah. And how many cars were in there when you packed them up? Exactly 52. Exactly 52. So um, the lesson to me from Tom was Tom had a very generous heart, and Tom gave something that meant something to him. So I want to commend Tom on his extraordinary generosity and um, his generous heart for giving to children on the other side of the world through Hope for the Silent Voices. Yes. Thanks so much, Tom. I appreciate it. Okay.